the color of your eyes is how God marked your ancestors and that gets passed on to you my eyes have got green tint I have the mark of Cain I believe because green is more connected to brown and brown is the norm brown was the norm for no mark brown is brown green is the mark of Cain so anyone who does anything to me will be avenged sevenfold and blue reward or curse is the mark Lamech got avenged seventy sevenfold now that on its own is massive and this is what you need to think about all the connotations this had throughout history it's an uncovering of truth yeah so the Vikings so like the blue-eyed people went north in a way to stay away from the others maybe they weren't welcome maybe they were in their minority so they were sent away maybe the green eyes as well were sort of not so welcome either but no one's ever talked about this have they no one's ever really come and said well the color of your eye means this 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 it's in there in the Bible Cain's mark if you're partially green eyes you're partially genetics is from brown eyed and from Cain's line I've seen people's eyes change color right in front of me or maybe not seen the change in colour the happening maybe a bit, yes I have seen it nearly go but I've seen blue go green and I've seen some really nice green eyes so I think you can have good clear eyes no matter what colour they are you know you've got a deep blue clear eye it's not too dark not too bright well maybe, maybe yeah it was a really bright blue eye, clear. How few br blue eyed friends I have. It's like, because they're unsafe. <laughs> like my three, I'd say three closest friends are brown eyed. But all my girlfriends have been blue eyed. And I've generally been nice to them. Lucky. I've generally been nice to girlfriends or girls that I've fancied but yeah, I think most of them had blue eyes <clears throat> and that was weird because actually when the other day when I was feeling some emotion about or it just suddenly hit me emotion about um, an ex 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 girlfriend it was really strong you know and I didn't think I'd been that bad to her blue eyed and now for us in and I was going to say in the war as well Hitler blue-eyed right on about the blue-eyed blonde-haired men maybe what he mainly meant was blue-eyed and they were very successful right you know one blue-eyed man gets wounded is a dead a dead green-eyed man or or some dead brown-eyed man the ramifications of this are massive Because I'm now realising like the journey I've been on recently, it's like I'm seeing what's really, really true. Like, <clears throat> for example, when I got my soulmate wrong the first time, I had a feeling about it and I thought that was confirmation, but that could have been given to me by spirit. In fact, I think it was. When I got it wrong the second time, it was because I got this really overwhelming emotion about someone and just kind of went, oh my god, that's it, you know, she's my soulmate, I, I've treated her pretty bad. And that overwhelming emotion, and she was blue eyed, you know, made me make that connection. And, and again, like uh, words from a spirit as I sort of 
I got some truth and then it, you know, then it was another spirit telling me bullshit, I think. Now I'm not going to name names with my soulmate thing because I'm going to keep that private. But then when I did realise my soulmate, it was after a kind of a, a whole sort of emotional thing to do with my treatment of women and then right at the end like I saw her and I had this realization that I could see her face in front of me I have done in the, in the past before and I was remembering other times anyway then it was all making sense and it made me really happy as well <laughs> I was very happy about it anyway I have diverted again haven't I this is supposed to be about the color of your eyes she's also blue eyed I think I've seen green in her before as well. Anyway, so I think yeah, people. I think people can. I think they. I think you can choose. I think you can change the color of your eyes. See, being a blue-eyed person, or green eye, gives you. That's why I say, is it a curse or a gift or a reward? And in a sense, it's both. The thing is, though, if you've got blue eyes, you can't necessarily stop someone doing something harmful to you. I mean, if it's an accident, it's an accident. But if it's, there's an intention there, then there'll be karma to be felt. But similarly, similarly, if you're nice to that person, you get good karma. So for you people who've hung in this long, you see... Have you thought of that? Why? It's an incentive to be good, isn't it? What's wrong with that? Don't we all want a bit of motivation? <laughs> I've only just thought of that now. And there's so many blue-eyed people. To get 77 times the amount of good karma on you. Maybe that's why black people are being treated bad in America. Not because... Now this is big. If you do even something a little bit, nasty to a blue-eyed person you're gonna get some calm for it anyone I wonder if most of them cops blue-eyed it's possible for the blue-eyed people to choose to go green-eyed but it's it must it might also be possible eventually after a real struggle to go the other way because I guess it must be a curse reward you're born with and I've seen my eyes go a bit blue before a little bit and my uncle Tim's he just did too it didn't it didn't feel nice I didn't want to I didn't want to go blue eyed I want to go brown eyed that's why I'm honest because like I said you're blue eyed you can't necessarily stop someone doing something harmful to you once people realize they will want to love you because they get a lot back. That's where you have to be careful of your intentions, you know. I mean, I love everybody. Everybody. And it's not that hard. Do I love everybody all the time? <laughs> That's a different question, isn't it? <laughs> and I guess I'd have to admit the answer to that is probably no. If I'm completely honest, thought. Thoughts are very powerful so intentions are key like I now have the intention of going around being nice to my mother because I want to tell her this I want to tell her about this because I've always looked at her blue eyes and I looked at my dad's brown greeny hazel eyes and I just have always wondered the differences I've felt a difference certainly felt a difference and but I suppose there's something about other people with green eyes that I've always connected to. And when I've seen, it's usually been girls, and I've seen, well like I'd say my ex, there was a time when we looked at each other and her eyes would like turn green and I could, I could see that she could feel it. And I think it feels a bit scary. Ah yeah, it does, it feels scary. And that's what I felt when I looked in the mirror in Norway and I swear my eyes were brown and um, it was scary I found it scary I was sort of like having cabin fever 
But I think, in the end, out of love, I think everyone will. I think that. But I don't know. And maybe not until... Because it's there for a design, it's been there for a purpose, to quicken the process. And remember that the power in loving someone with blue eyes, so it's all about love. Love is extremely powerful. Love has laws. The laws of love govern. Everything that happens to you is a reflection of what you do and think and say. And when you understand it, it makes it very easy to love God. Our souls are unique and our souls are equal. We're just in these vessels which have marks on them. In God's universe, God the soul, is a, he, she, it's the soul. And that's why it makes sense. God made us in the image of him. And say that about the animals, it's not just the looks. You know, we've got chimpanzees, they look pretty much the same. <laughs> Monkeys' faces. Humans, God made in the image, in his own image. I know it always says his, probably just easier saying his than his, her all the time. And he could say her, could just switch and start saying her. Anyway, so that why it makes sense that, you know, we're half a soul. So our full soul is with both of our both of our partners. That's why to know your soulmate will really help you feel God too. All equal. And love equally. Because the brown eyed people some love too. It's real easy. <laughs> They're easy to love. The blue eyed people are probably harder to love. Because you feel like vengeance. God created our souls in the image of God. And God is both male and female. So God's soul, if you like, is made up of two half souls, as are all our souls. Now, we're all children of God. Now, in the Revelations, it states that the number saved will be 144,000. Now, they didn't really dig zeros in those days. And if we think that we're all children of God, we will all be saved. All the parables about the, uh, you know, 99 sheep in a field and there's one lost. You know, God, God isn't going to leave any behind, okay? But if we're all going to be saved, there's obviously a lot more of us than that. So it can't be 144,000, it has to be more. And how many do you think this world could, could support? Do you think it could support 70-odd um, billion I'm not sure, I think it's straining now, right? So, I'm going to convert this number, I'm going to add five zeros and make it 14 billion, 400 million. Because I've been thinking about it for a while, you know, with God's plan and, you know, where it's going to get to a certain point, isn't it? When every single soul that God has created has had some experience. And when that time comes you know how long is it going to be until until we move on to the next step every single soul in existence that god created has had some experience hasn't no longer sitting there in an incarnate state okay so this is me basically saying that we're we're here we're at the point where um when <laughs> the next stage of god's plan is going to is going to be um, it's going to be executed, right? And the num this number seven, God seems to love that number. So um, yeah, I think uh, we're living in special times, and um, I'm very uh, optimistic about everything. So uh, love to all of you out there, and you know, love everybody. You know, if you think we've got an eternal life to meet every single other unique soul that God created. It's a long time. It's a lot of souls to get to know. But we're all unique, so it won't get boring.
problem in the world is the hate that exists between genders and this is going on in the spirit world and this is kind of the main drive of it and the, well, the main cause of that was how men abuse their physical prowess and lorded it over the women for most of human history. I mean there have been occasions where women were revered and women were the boss in a way for a lot of it, it's been the men lording it over the women, using their physical advantage. And women are quite rightly pissed off about it, but two wrongs don't make a right. And in a sense, you know, if a woman hates men, it's only she's still harming herself. And, and the same if, if a man hates, like, women. And I did almost get to that point, and I think it was probably because all the hate projection coming towards me, just the fact that I'm a man. I can sense it better now, I can feel it better now, but I can also understand it. But I don't like it, and I also don't like when I kind of generalise about women. And if you think about, if you want a good relationship with God, well God is male and female, so both parts of that. And also I've noticed, like, I can quite seem to be easier to connect to male ancestors than female ancestors. It's like, when women die and go to the spirit world, they're often greeted by groups of man-hating women spirits. And this apparently is causing um, problems. So that is the biggest problem in the world. They, they can't, you know, hopefully if the world gets in a good state, then souls will want to reincarnate. Because if they know they're going to get good loving parents who guide the children in the way that God would, completely loving and trusting in all emotions and letting the child deal with what it needs to deal with instead of teaching the child to suppress the emotions like we were taught to and it is improving to find your other half soul is a good thing and <clears throat> in a sense you won't do it if you have issues with the opposite gender and I know I still have issues with the opposite gender but they're getting less. I'm, I'm making progress, definitely. And um, that's you know that's how you will then eventually draw your soulmate. But before you can draw your soulmate, you have to sort of really learn about truth, being true in every way, and you know that's that comes first. Something else I know about my personality, and that's like in my soul, is that I love to. Ram, I love to run into something at a hundred miles an hour. And then I sort of, so I progress really fast, so I just go vroom, and then I hit a stumbling block and get stuck for a while. And then I'm off again. But you know, I've, I've, I've come up with some, some good stuff lately, some good ideas. And, um, Nobody's interested. 
<laughs> there's so much stuff to be looking at there's so many distractions stuff's coming soon stuff's happening but um, like I said the main point of this video is to state that the biggest problem of the world is the hate that exists between the genders it gets projected out it gets projected at if you've got anger if you're hating men because of past relationships or you feel you feel like spirits are pushing you towards that sort of feeling and show them some love show the opposite gender some love and just yeah it's like me I'm sort of whereas before you know I'd look at women and and it would be you know I grew up as a little kid probably watching the Benny Hill show it was ingrained into me early on I think when I was you know young young like four five six that sort of age you know harassing girls was joy that's <laughs> what I did before I smoked fags so it's a big issue but now I'm more sort of curious and like seeing women when they're doing good things, acting out their desires and passions and everything and almost just trying to learn about women learn the differences in a way or similarities and and also that will help me connect with my mother god and my own mother as well you know, I have to understand her more it's all good you know I love you there's a lot of confusion in the world. I can't say, I mean, my thoughts have probably been that women are worse than men. That's obviously a biased opinion. I mean, I'm a man. I like making stuff, saws and hammers. I like, do women like that? And I'd like to make clothes. If I could use a sewing machine, which I can't. Well, not my mum's one anyway. It's so complicated. Yeah, well, obviously I. Need, I won't think while I'm on video too much. It's like highly unentertaining. But you know, I'm not here to entertain. I'm here to make a record of the the awesome discoveries I'm making. No one sees it yet then they wouldn't be such awesome discoveries if people could just see them straight away. What is it? Discovery is not really a discovery of mine. It's sort of just things being unveiled to me. I mean, it's mainly boredom. <laughs> boredom, but also, you know, I like to keep a video diary. That's what it is. A vlog. Is it a vlog? Pack it up. So, really just want to reiterate that I love everybody. You know, the greatest thing when you sort of realise you're going to live forever. <laughs> and that, oh my God, how can you live forever? Then you know that you're a unique soul or a unique half soul, and you'll have your other half soul forever. And then you get a bit scared, get reminded to love, and then realize that there are billions of others in exactly the same position as us. that they're all unique and we can spend eternity getting to know everyone, couldn't we? But as soon as you realise you're a baby in the nursery of God and you decide you're going to start learning from God and seeing what comes your way and being open to emotions and everything and allowing everything, even your imagination, what's in your imagination, just allow it and go with it <laughs> and then it'll be cool! So yeah, feel the love Feel the love that's coming from me to all of you, to everybody, just the same. And then God, God, Mother and Father are real parents.
Start learning.